Hi, we're back with Gail Gand, who will now show us a delicious dish using one of Poland's favorite locally sourced ingredients, beets. Okay, Gail, how can I help? I was thinking that you could help me roast these beets, because the first step is to take just whole raw beets okay. and throw them in some foil. Wash, and, but keep the peel on them still. Right, and these two had like long roots coming out of them, so I snipped those off too. But you're just going to gather them up into the, some foil like that and then roast them in the oven at 400 degrees for about an hour. Okay. And that'll tenderize them, okay? All right, well, we'll see you later. See you in Beats. an hour. Right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come back before an hour, okay? <laughs> um, the next thing for the beet, it's roasted beets, roasted carrots, a little bit of olive oil and parsley, is I've got some peeled carrots here. So let's cut up three of these to also roast in the oven. And I do something called a Japanese roll cut. So it's ah. sort of a special little cut that makes a nice faceted carrot, but it's not a slice. I don't love slices because they kind of okay. stick together and they get kind of limp. This instead is like a big sort of chunk that's bite size. And the way I do it is I just take my knife and I cut from corner to corner on mm -hmm. my cutting board. And then I turn the carrot a quarter turn towards myself. Ah. And then corner to corner and a quarter turn towards myself. So you end up with these nice faceted shapes that roast quickly. Um, are bite sized, so you don't really need a knife to eat the dish, but they also they kind of look pretty. I think they, they look prettier than, you know, than regular slices. And they sort of give a little space in between so they don't stick together. They really like stand on their own a little bit. So usually what I do is put these in a roasting pan. We've got a glass one there, right? So I'm going to have you toss these in. And then right. we're just going to sprinkle them with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. And those will go in the oven for about a half an hour to start. And after about 30 minutes, I'm going to ask you to take them out, and we're going to sprinkle a little bit of orange juice on top, return them to the oh, oven for yeah. another 15 minutes. And that way, the orange juice will kind of reduce and get a little syrupy and sweet. So just about a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper is really all they need. Should we toss them? Let's give them one kick. You know, sometimes I just kind of shake the pan a little bit. My husband does the dishes, so I hate to dirty another spoon if I don't have to. That yeah, should then. be the excuse to dirty another dish, because <laughs> I have I'm a dishwasher. <laughs> don't tell him that. All right, I'll put these. So put those in. Me. We're going to leave them in for about 30 minutes. And after 30, we'll take them out. We'll top them with a little bit of orange juice. Now let me show you how to um, peel the beets. We've got some that we already roasted off earlier. And this is a slightly messy job. So I, okay. think, I think I'll do it, because your hands are too nice. Um, messy in the sense that they give off a lot of red color. So I'm just going to unwrap these beets that have been roasted. And take a look. They get really sort of beautiful garnet colored. Yeah. And the peel at this point is going to come off really easily. If you just kind of slide oh, wow. the peel off, see how that is? Mm -hmm. um, but also see how that is. <laughs> There's a couple things you can do if you, you know, have an important date that night and don't want to have red hands. You can wear gloves. You okay. can wear surgical gloves, yeah. latex gloves, um, dishwashing gloves to protect your hands. Um, the other thing you could do is just put a little bit of vegetable oil on your hands. Oh. And that kind of waterproofs them so that the beet juice yeah. can't be absorbed. Um, but at this point, they are so delicious just almost by themselves. But what I'm going to do is trim off that end and just kind of make, I call them chips, but I don't know if that's an accurate, but it's sort of the same shape as the We're roasted matching, carrot. Yeah, the yeah. Japanese roll cut. So I'm just kind of going like that to get some bite-sized pieces of this very tender beets. Now, you could prepare the beets this way for almost anything. Mm -hmm. You know, if you just wanted to do tri-colored beets with some uh, snap peas or something, it's a great way to just roast beets, get them nice and sweet and ready to be eaten. And then if you want to go ahead and throw the orange juice onto those carrots. Sure. We have our orange juice here. Right. And that's fresh squeezed, though it doesn't have to be. But just okay. go ahead and sprinkle that on over them. All right. And that'll give the, the carrots and the orange juice a little time to live together <laughs> and uh, time for the flavors to sort of intensify. So we'll give that another 15 minutes to mm -hmm. sort of caramelize and uh, reduce so that the flavor intensifies. But I've got some here actually that we already did. Great. So here's the carrots. Oops. There's the beets. So I'm going to go ahead and add the two together. Now beets do give off a lot of color, as you saw. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, we don't really want to stir it a whole lot because it's going to dye those nice orange carrots oh, red. Oh, that's true. So we'll give Very it like one point. fold maybe at the most. <sighs> and let's throw in some chopped parsley. And then we'll top it with a little bit more. But I'm just kind of gingerly folding 
Oh, I love that. Do you smell that sort of caramelized smell? Yeah, you know what? It actually, it reminds me of like Thanksgiving with the sweet potatoes roasting in the oven a little bit. You know, sweet potatoes and beets both have a pretty high sh natural sugar content. So what's oh. happening in the oven is that sugar is really caramelizing. So let's go ahead and put these roasted beets and carrots right on a serving platter. And then I'm gonna top them off with a little more parsley just to really bring out the color there. There we go. So that's the roasted beets and carrots with orange. This looks great. What a perfect, delicious, flavorful, and easy to prepare salad to go along with our lunch menu. And I'm excited for what's up next.